This is a love note, not a love letter. We're going to talk about copers. I'm your host, Jeff Grasso. And this is all about the wonderful world of grinding on plastic. Now that we're old and ugly. The reason that guys were able to learn how to grind like everybody does nowadays without copers was because copers were invented. Everybody's fucking heroes, you know, Olsen, Dwayne, Salba, all those dudes, everyone rode copers. They were fucking cool. There was no such thing as Salba sauce back then. You know, skate park coping was fucking dry as a bone and you know people weren't doing lots of lip tricks and breaking it in and stuff so the advent of the coper went a long way to push modern day skateboarding forward First they got up to the edge, they started doing wheelers. You know, you had mid tracks and half tracks and you know, skateboard trucks were really, really skinny. And then they started to, as boards widened out, trucks started to widen out and the boys started being able to grind and make noise. There's an article in Skateboarder Magazine, if I remember correctly, like a trick tip, how to do the stand up grind. The modern day grind would not be where it is if it wasn't for that little short time span where there was this little plastic revolution. I'm sure it would have happened. Shreddy didn't ride copers and he fucking stood right the fuck up. But that's not how it went down. Uh, you know, everybody rode copers. Everybody loved them. And then everybody didn't. Slowly but surely, you know, we started kicking them off our boards. I hope you enjoyed. Go skate. <laughs>